So yeah, um, my name is Will Usher. I'm very happy to be here. Somehow I've managed to miss the first 10 open mod workshops, um, despite actively following the community and um, not so actively participating in the forum, but it's uh, great to finally, finally be here. Um, uh, so I, I'm from KTH uh, and I want to present a bit on how we've been working in the climate compatible growth project on integrating open science practices in this program. So this is a, a big project It's led by Mark Howes at Loughborough University and it's funded by the UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. So there's a bunch of UK universities involved and then KTH. Um, so we're leading uh, the platform, which is uh, basically we're, we're responsible for dealing with data and open science within the program. And so my job really is to try and uh, support and help the researchers in the UK institutions and then increasingly in the six or so partner countries that we're working with to understand what open science is and then to try and integrate some of these practices. Uh, and this is quite difficult. Um, you'll notice that I'm the only person from CCP at the Open Mod Forum. Um, and uh, actually going back to uh, working with people and trying to talk about open science is, is something that uh, is uh, an ongoing challenge and something that maybe we need to reflect on as a community, how we actually go back and work with other people to tell people about these great practices. Um, we're working on a number of different sort of aspects. Um, so the program's aim is to support investment in sustainable energy and transport systems to meet uh, development priorities in the global south. So for example, we're working in three uh, countries in Africa. Uh, we're working in Kenya, Ghana, and Zambia. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the sort of format of the project is that we have a, a national network with an individual contact in each country. Uh, and then we start off with a design studio, go into the country and sort of un understand what the, the needs are of the, uh, of the country. Uh, we have a, a whole suite of open tools. So Osmosis is one of them. There's also Onset. Um, there are none, there's a MatDP, which is an open source material flow model. There's an, uh, an open transport model. Um, so there are a number of, there's a whole sort of suite of open tools. Um, and we've also been developing open teaching material as well, so that we can then run capacity building workshops, which, which uh, teach uh, 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 stakeholders and how to actually use these tools. And that teaching material is openly available on the Open University's Open Learn uh, website under a CCBY 4.0 license. Um, we've also been developing a sort of teaching platform. Um, so this is for sharing teaching material with, um, with anyone. Uh, so this is a, a website called curriculum.climatecompatiblegrowth.com, so the climate compatible curriculum, um, and uh, it allows anyone to uh, log in, create a course made up of lectures and lecture blocks, uh, and then share that with uh, anyone around the world. Um, we're also working um, with international organizations uh, on coming up with a set of principles, the roundtable principles on how to do uh, energy systems planning in an effective way. And some of the high level principles are around transparency and openness. And so what I've been working on is thinking about how to turn those into much more sort of practical uh, actions um, and thinking about what that means in terms of good enough uh, um, open science practices. So how to publish data openly, how to license source code, how to license data, how to write metadata, how to attribute. So we've been providing these guidelines to, I mean, this sound, probably sounds pretty basic to a lot of you, but uh, um, these types of practices are, are, are not um, uh, are taken up by everyone. So I'm doing quite a lot of work in just trying to train people, um, teach them how to uh, adopt these programs and trying to motivate them to, to do this. Yeah, so, um, it, Reach out to me if you're interested in uh, open scholarship, uh, open science in general. I'm really interested to hear your opinions and, um, and suggestions on how we can uh, do this better. And I think there's, uh, yeah, I'm particularly interested in those of you working in the Global South, uh, in African countries, working with capacity building. I think this is a really 
interesting area and there's a huge sort of untapped uh, a range of extremely motivated and very individual uh, very interested individuals who want to do energy system modeling in and they're not represented here in this room so i think that's a, a huge sort of area where we can grow our community uh, and think beyond the boundaries of europe and north america thank you very much